This tutorial is focused on the mixed model rendering in the surpass mode of Imaris. We'll open the image PTK2 cell to explain this Imaris function. The 3D volume rendered image shows three channels. The red channel corresponds to the Kineta cores, the green channel represents the microtubules, and the blue channel shows the DAPI stained DNA. First, we'll change the pointer mode from Navigate to Select. Then we'll optimize the image volume rendering by opening the display adjustment window. The display adjustment function lets you interact with each channel individually, control the channel visibility, as well as improve the image display by adjusting contrast, brightness and opacity. In the upper part of the display adjustment window, each channel is represented by a channel bar. A channel can be selected simply by clicking on the respective colored bar. The settings provide control over the channel's contrast, brightness and opacity. These properties can be adjusted either by using the three sliders on the colored channel bars or by entering values in the numerical fields. Clicking the Reset button resets the image to the default values. Clicking on Auto adjusts the minimum and maximum values in the data. At the bottom of the display adjustment window is a histogram of the selected channel. Display adjustment is designed to work with individual channels, but to follow the quick start tutorial, select All Channels. To adjust the minimum, click in the channel bar on the lower handle and drag it. Alternatively, you can input a value directly into the minimum field. The same applies for changing the upper limit. Either click on the upper handle of the adjustment line and drag it, or else enter a value in the maximum field. In this example, the minimum is set to 28 and the maximum to 200. The effect of the change can at once be seen on the image. Now we will tune the green channel. To focus on the green channel, uncheck the red and blue channels. Selecting or deselecting channels controls their visibility. Select the green channel by clicking on the channel bar. In the viewing area, only the green channel is now displayed. Set the minimum to 20 and the maximum to 45. The changes are visible in the viewing area, the upper and lower handle of the color bar, and in the color histogram. Now we'll tune the red channel. Reselect red channel. Change the minimum value to 20 and the maximum value to 100. Changes will be immediately visible in the image view area channel histogram and channel bar. Reselect the blue and green channels. Again, all channels are visible in the viewing area. In this tutorial we have shown you how to adjust color intensity range, channel visibility and opacity. For additional display adjustment window features, please refer to our video tutorial, quick start tutorial and reference manual. The Amaris screen has three major areas, the view area, object list and object properties area.
the image is displayed in view area. The object list facilitates simultaneous combination of various visualization techniques. In the properties area, you find all the parameters for the selected object. All available objects are in the Surpass menu. A new object can also be added by clicking on the Object Create button. We'll now add surface reconstruction of the DNA to the volume rendered microtubules. Clicking on the button Surface creates a new object. Surface in the object list. The object list is automatically updated. In the object properties area, the surface creation wizard appears automatically. We'll now start the surface creation wizard. In this example, we'll process the whole image. The concept of region of interest will be covered in subsequent tutorials. Begin by clicking on Next. For the source channel, select channel 3, blue, and for reducing the noise, the smooth option. For the surface area detailed level, enter a value of 0.3. For the threshold option, select absolute intensity. Click on Next. A surface threshold preview is displayed in grey. There are two options for the threshold. Automatic and Manual. Select the Manual option. To change the threshold value, left-click on the histogram and drag the yellow line. Move the line to the right to increase the threshold. To decrease the threshold, move the line to the left. These changes are instantly visible in the viewing area. Set a value to 30. Click on Next. In the step Classify Surfaces, you can sort and filter the resulting surfaces by various filter criteria. However, in this example, no sorting is necessary. To complete surface creation, click on Finish. In addition to the volume rendered microtubules, the surface reconstruction of the DNA displays in the viewing area. In the Properties area, several tabs are now available. These tabs are common to all created objects. Click on the Color tab to open the Color Properties. Change the color from grey to dark blue by clicking on the color wheel. The surface in the viewing area is displayed in the chosen color. Selecting the Statistics tab will show the measurements for the created surface. There are three tabs, Overall, Detailed, and Selection. A pull-down list is available offering a variety of specific values within Detailed tab. The value is automatically calculated and updated when you select a new variable. For further analysis, you can export the data directly into Excel. In the object list, there is a checkbox for each object. Uncheck the box to make the object invisible in the viewing area. Check the box to again make the object visible. The kineta cores are small, globular and fairly spherical, and so ideal to show how Imaris detects spots automatically. We will now add a spots object to automatically segment the Kineta cores. Click on the spots object button. A new object, spots, is added in the object list. The automatic spots creation wizard is brought up. Again, in the first step, we will process the whole image, so leave all boxes unselected and click on next. For the source channel, select channel 1, Kineta cores. 
Set the estimated diameter to 0.5 and click on Next. Imaris detects an automatic threshold at which to insert the spots. With the automatic threshold detection, some spots are not identified because they are below the threshold limit. To change the threshold, select the option Manual. Click on the yellow line and drag it. Moving the line to the right increases the threshold and removes some of the automatically created spots. Conversely, moving the line to the left produces additional spots. The effect is directly visible in the viewing area. As a threshold value, enter 10. Click on Finish. Once you have finished spots creation, the Properties panel is available with the same tabs as for Surface. Change the color of the spots to red by selecting the Color tab. Select the tab statistic. Choose the selection option and click on one spot. The corresponding values are presented. Again, the data can be exported directly into Excel. Once more, uncheck the box to make the object invisible in the viewing area. Bear in mind that the parameters of this tutorial are specific to this data set. Your data will require its own specific parameters. Check the box to again make the object visible. When you have finished making changes, you need to save the data. Select the Save Scene option. First, the image will be saved as an IMS file. Select the name and location and save the file. Then it will be saved as an Imaris scene with the extension IMX. The scene file saves the actual Imaris configuration, including the object list and all existing objects. The Imaris scene is saved and can be analyzed again at any future time. When restarting Imaris, the saved scene can be reloaded by selecting Load Scene. Click on Load Scene and select the image. The image is restored in the viewing area. In the Properties area, you will find the corresponding surpass tree objects, volume, surface and spots, allowing you to carry on with dataset analysis. This tutorial has introduced you to the essential tasks in mixed model rendering. Watching the next Imaris video tutorial will give you further information on Imaris features. Thank you for watching this video.